so the officer and I went out there to take a look at it. You know, it was obviously it wasn't a bear because, you know, he just tried to chew in around the doors. And you could see a dog print, you know, alongside the window sill there. And, and so it was obviously a dog. near the Garland Swamp found an animal they thought was a dog. In a playful mood, they chased it around till it ran inside a hollow log. A logger named Johnson grabbed him a stick and poked around inside. Then the thing let out an unearthly scream and came out and stood upright. None of those men ever said very much about whatever happened then. They just packed up their belongings and left that night, were never heard from again. It was 10 years later in 97 when a farmer near Buckley was found. Slumped over his plow, his heart had stopped. There were dog tracks all around. Seven years past the turn of the century, they say a crazy old widow had a dream of dogs that circled her house at night. They walked like men and screamed. In 1917, a sheriff who was out a walking found a driverless wagon and tracks in the dust like wolves had been a stalking. Near the roadside, a four-horse team lay dead with their eyes open wide. When the vet finished up his examination, he said it looked like they died of fright. In 37, a schooner captain said several crew members had reported a pack of wild dogs roaming Bowers Harbor. His story was never recorded. Seven, a man of the cloth found claw marks on an old church door. The newspaper said they'd been made by a dog. He'd had to stood seven foot four. In 67, a van load of hippies told a park ranger named Quinlan they'd been awakened in the night by a scratch at the window. There was a dog man looking in and grinning. Then in the summer of 87, near Luther it happened again. At a cabin in the woods it looked like maybe someone had tried to break in. There were cuts around the doors could have only been made by very sharp teeth and claws. He didn't wear shoes cause he didn't have feet. He walked on just two paws. Legends are born of stories told, imagination without restriction. But what does a legend become 
when the truth outruns the fiction. The decades come, the decades go, people still swear they see. Interlock and Reed City, Mackinac, there was something looking back at me. And somewhere in the Northwoods darkness, a creature walks upright. And the best advice you may ever get is don't go out at night.